There it is. Hey guys, welcome to another Fitzy. Uh, fit. What? Well, there it is. Hey guys, and welcome to another witty fitness vlog. Here I am to talk to you about something that I haven't done in the last four months. What could that be? Yes, I've been doing this fitness for four months, and what is the thing that I haven't been doing? Hmm. Squats and deadlifts. Oh, I did those yesterday, and um, oh boy, that was definitely the challenge. Um, it wasn't so bad doing them. What was so bad was waking up this morning <laughs> and getting out of bed. Just moving my freaking leg out of bed to even place the foot on the floor was like, whoa! Feeling my quads like mad is crazy. You know when you burn a new muscle type or muscle group, whatever, or you basically hit that extra mark when you're exercising that pushes beyond the boundaries and then you really feel it the next day. Whoa, that's what I've got. So, um, yeah, you might be pleased to hear about that. I know a lot of you have been trying to convince me into trying to do squats and deadlifts. I started off on the assisted bar, which is kind of like always attached. And um, just did that with no weights. I've looked at a couple of videos as well on YouTube regarding positioning, making sure that I'm not going to break, break my back or do any serious damage. And um, then proceeded to just whack on a few bits of weights every now and then throughout the reps or the sets. And um, yeah, it went quite well. I only did like 10 kilograms on either side. So it wasn't like anything majorly heavy or anything like that. Just enough to basically feel it. And... Yeah, it worked because I'm super feeling it today and um, that means that I'm now going to have to put this in on every single leg day, aren't I? So every Wednesday is going to be squats and deadlifts. I've been avoiding them for so long for good reason because they're bloody scary, but they're well worth it. So if you've been avoiding them yourself, yourself I highly suggest them because, yeah, I can see what you guys are on about. Um, it definitely feels like these kick it up a notch in terms of like feeling progress and probably making progress as well so yeah legs might be getting a little bit of a boost now no more sort of like using the other leg machines and casually sort of like brushing off leg day got to take it a bit more serious now so and um, as for today I didn't go to the gym why well, this was a good reason for it, but this wasn't actually the reason for me not going to the gym was my legs being knackered. I could still do upper body weight, even though I've got a bike down to the gym. That was kind of the thing. Is on Thursdays is the busiest in town, and my gym is at the heart of town. It's in fact at the back of town, and there is almost no way to get there unless you want to bike through a bunch of drunks. I've been having this problem in the last lot of Thursdays, and um, some days are worse than others, but... I go very early in the morning, so typically I used to go about two, well, I used to get there about three o'clock, but now I'm getting there about two o'clock because I'm doing overtime at work, and um, yeah, stupid early, and you get so many drunks out and about, and it's always basically a lot of scum. You know, I made that uh, video on my other channel, like, uh, you know, British scum, it was a little stream highlight on Witty Warcraft, and um yeah, I live in Essex, and there's a lot of scammy people here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's always a pleasure to go through them and uh, try not to basically get stabbed or shanked on my way just trying to go to the fitness gym. There is basically no way to get around there unless I take a super long cut, which means I'm going to have to add like an extra five or ten minutes on my journey. It's not been so bad on the later weeks. Like, I've, I've been doing this for four months now. But noticeably, now I'm going a bit earlier, it's really kind of a, an issue to a degree so it put me off enough to not even bother going today and it's kind of just as well because I'm still recovering from this so at least I've got an excuse but next Thursday I probably will still go because well I can't keep putting it off and I like to try and go five to six times a week even though people say yeah you can you know put a break in between I do exercise the different muscle groups so technically I should be able to go pretty much every day except for Sunday so it shouldn't be a problem on that front but the reason why I bring that up in terms of sort of like all oh, this scammy kind of people that are out and about, specifically more drunken people. So they might be nice people uh, outside of their drinking habits, but when they're drinking, yeah, it's not pleasant. So you have to duck in and out of these kind of people. There's, oh, It's filled, filled with drunks. And it's worse because 
now I go earlier, there's even more of them. So, uh, yeah, I was put off that. Mostly because of an event that occurred on Monday, this Monday. So, I'll tell you guys this little story. Um, it was Bank Holiday Monday, so a lot of people do basically go out as well on the Sunday anyway. But they had even more reason to go out on the Sunday. They typically go out on the Sunday and they're out in town on Mondays and Thursdays are the worst, I find. But this Monday in particular was pretty bad. So I already had to go past that. And even on my way into town, so in and out, when I'm going into the gym, out of the gym, I'm going to get grief. I just do. I wear like a balaclava and a hat and all that because I'm biking. It's fucking like 2 a.m. in the morning. It's not exactly warm unless you've been drinking shit loads and you apparently have no fucking physical feelings whatsoever. But, um... Yeah, it's like someone's like slacking off my balaclava. You know, yeah, it's just unnecessary grief I shouldn't have to go through. I'm not saying anything to these people. I'm not doing anything to these people. They're just assholes, basically. Loud, mouthy, Essex cunts, essentially. Hey, mate, what are you doing, mate, with that balaclava? Fuck off, mate. Seriously. Fuck right off. Who the fuck are you? So, yeah, they're all in their groups of mates, so they only exemplify the levels of douchebaggery. That's already going around. So, I did my exercise. I went back home. I was doing okay. And I got past the crowds. And my bike journey is typically about 15 to 20 minutes. So, this is actually like 10 minutes past when I'm well and truly past the town area. And coming back more to sort of like the suburban areas where I live. And um, I was biking uphill. And there's this guy sort of like jogging. In the middle of the road, where I was, like not on the, either of the pavements, like here, he was like right in the middle, like angled like that, and he comes like right by my bike as I'm biking up, and basically goes like that, and I couldn't tell whether he spat or not or anything like that, but he kept jogging past me, and I this is this is that now the time is like about 5 a.m. in the morning, like I spent like an hour or so at the gym. A fair while, because I didn't go like super early this time, because it was a bank holiday, so I wasn't working. So I went probably more like about 3 a.m. or something, 2 to 3 a.m. But anyway, this is about 5 a.m. And I just, like at first I was just like, really? This is really going to happen again? So I, 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 as I was biking away from him and he was, bi he was walk running away from me, I just go, <laughs> FUCKER! Like as loud as I possibly could. I just shouted that out. And it was just like, oh shit. Well, I didn't feel that at the time. I was genuinely really pissed off. I was quite raging at the moment. And I was wondering about the roid rage. Whether the gym had an impact on this. Or whether it was just the fact that I have to go through so much grief on all the Thursdays pre previously. Or rather, Thursdays, Mondays, that kind of thing. And specifically this day as well, I got quite a lot of grief going into town and out of town. And I carried on biking for like another two seconds. And then I stopped... Which is very unlike me, because typically I just sort of brush things off and I, I just, I just get on with it basically. And I actually decided to turn around and I started biking towards this guy, and I went right out to him, stopped right by him and said, "Oi, you're gonna apologise for that, mate." I didn't actually even say mate. I just said, "You, you're gonna apologise," spitting in my face, because I didn't know if he did spit in my face, but it sort of almost felt like it, or at least seemed like it. I think he just made the noise. He's drunk, basically. And uh, it kind of kicked off because he sort of like, sort of walks up closer towards me. I'm by the pavement now. I'm on my bike, so I'm somewhat vulnerable in the sense that I'm not actually standing my ground properly. I'm like on the bike. And he sort of like gets closer up into my face. And it's almost as if he's trying to recognize me. And in a strange way, I was actually kind of smiling. Like, it was almost like I was inviting him to punch me. Just so that I could actually kick off and use some of this rage that was building up over all of this time. And in the strangest way, he always said, oh, Sorry, mate, I didn't mean to do that. I'm drunk. And I said, Oh, no, that's alright. And I immediately sort of like suddenly went into sort of like mate mode. Where I was super friendly and then he became super friendly. It was the weirdest thing because I was fucking livid. I haven't been like this in a while. Apart from when I'm playing Warcraft 3, 4 versus 4 RT with bad allies. I rarely get angry. Genuinely, I'm actually a very calm, pers passive person. I just brush things off, like I say. But I'm the kind of person that you really wouldn't want to fuck with. I'm honest to God with that. Like, 
I would fuck you over, like I said before. I don't care what it does to me, I would be that kind of person. Well, I'm a very quiet person, I keep to myself, I do my own thing, but if you go out of your way to piss me off or something like that, and you deserve to be punished, I will fucking punish you. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna think two, 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 two ways about it. But, um... The strangest thing is we started getting into this conversation. He's like, oh, you're dry. Are you been out of here? And he says, yeah, mate, sorry, I'm, I'm just drunk. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, he actually did seem kind of genuinely apologetic. It wasn't like, oh, I'm drunk, mate, it's not my fault. Like, not like a cocky thing. He's actually kind of apologetic. And then we started talking, like, I said, like, where you been? I said, I've been at a party. And I said, all oh, right. He's like, where you come from? I said, I've come from town. Like, I've been uh, to the gym. And then I started talking about what I was doing at the gym and like, sorry for snapping at you, because I, I assume like, the, the fuck, fucker, like, I shouted that out so bloody loud. Um, so like, sorry for my reactions, because I have to deal with a lot of grief going in and out of town from basically drunks. I did explain that, he said, oh, sorry mate, and all that kind of thing. And then he started talking about his brother, who apparently does CrossFit every day. So we started getting into a bit of a gym conversation, and then it was a case of, uh, and then I said to him, um, where do you live? And he says, oh, just down the road there. I said, are you right getting back then? He said, yeah, I'll be fine. And it's just like, all right, then sorry about everything, and uh, see you later. We both kind of just apologized, and then went on our way. It was so bizarre, because I was ready to fucking not kill this guy, but he could have beat the shit out of me for all I know. I don't know. He was, you know, he was big enough. It wasn't like a, some small guy. It's like big bushy beard and all that kind of stuff, but I, it wasn't that, it, it didn't matter to me. It was a case of, I'm going to get into a fight with you, and one of us is going to fucking go down. I was in that mood, that frame of mind. I very rarely like that. And then it suddenly changed in such a different pace, it was bizarre. And then as I was biking away, it so quickly dawned on me how stupid it was for me to basically get well, I mean, fair enough, I can get angry about it, but to sort of like get fucker, that's kind of alright, because it's a, it's a, you know, it's a natural reaction, sometimes you need to vent, but to then stop, turn around and actively go and seek him out, to then press the situation further, was stupid, because there is no good outcome there, whatsoever. If I get into a fight, I win, or if I get into a fight, I lose, no one benefits from that. And it was just so silly because he was—he seemed actually all right. To be honest with you, he did. Some of the people in town, yeah, they are genuinely just cunts. Okay, whether they apologise or not, they are cunts. But this guy actually seemed all right. And um, yeah, it's—it was a case of me feeling almost guilty on my way back home, and it's been kind of bugging me a little bit since. And uh, I kind of want to get it off my chest in a sense because I haven't actually spoken about it. It happened a few days ago. So yeah. Basically, if you get yourself into a situation like that, just don't pursue it, engage it. It's okay to be angry and all of that. But I was just thinking about all the scenarios where what could have happened. And regardless of any of those scenarios, the result was kind of the same. It would be pointless to engage it further. You know? I guess the best scenario out of this was the one that I kind of had where I learned from the experience. It was mostly friendly at the end there. And then I come to the conclusion that there's no point in pursuing any further incidents that I might have. So I'm going to be sort of like wiser when it probably happens again at some point. I'm not going to be able to go through the rest of my life without someone being an arsehole to me. So it's going to happen at some point again. So yeah, I, I think I've rambled on quite a long time here. Sorry guys, but it was just kind of, it was almost like an enlightening moment for me because it really did bring home how clear it is to just not worry so much about these things. People are going to be arseholes, people are going to do what they do. I can shrug it off easily enough on the internet, but when it happens to you like face to face, it's kind of different. And it's like the first time really dealing with that, because aside from being at school and having a few scraps and stuff like that, I've not really had to deal with that. And I've never really snapped like that, but it's just, I think it's an accumulation. Plus, probably a little bit of rage from the gym, because I think that was Monday, so I was doing lots of uh, dumbbell push-ups and stuff like that, so I really pushed myself. I went back to doing um, 26s again with the hands, which is, I can do them anyway, but I've had a busted rib cage. So the ribs hurt, but I was able to do them through the pain, so I was, I was feeling good about that. So anyway, I guess the long, the, you know, long story short, 
just be good to one another. <laughs> that sounds so cheesy, but it it kind of is, because it's just a case of there's no beneficial situation there where if I got into a fight or if I didn't or if I pursued him or chased him or he chased me. Nothing is going to be good from me doing that whatsoever. So what would be the point? There wouldn't be a point. So that's just kind of what it comes down to is you just kind of have to move on if that stuff happens. And uh, yeah, I've, I feel better about it since I've had the experience. But on that day, it did definitely sort of like shake me up a little bit as to what could have happened. Because like I said, I was inviting a punch to my face. Like, I, he's getting real out close. I don't know what he's going to do. He could have anything. I don't know. This is freaking five o'clock in the morning. It's pretty damn dark. You can't see anything apart from faint headlights or lamp lights. So, um, yeah, just be nice. And uh, you won't have to deal with some guy going, fuck her, and coming up to you and starting something or trying to continue something. That just could have ended right there if I carried on biking on. It's not to say that I should have dealt with it, should be one of these people, don't be one of those people that, you know, they just let's, oh, okay, someone's been an arsehole to me again, oh, okay, someone's been an arsehole, do, 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 it's not like that, it's just, there was no benefit to going and pushing that any further anyway, so just move on with it, and, you know, release a little bit of uh, rage through sort of like muttering under your breath, that kind of thing, probably not at the top of your voice at 5am in the morning within a suburban area, literally surrounded by houses where we were, so... It's kind of funny. I didn't actually stay around to just to see whether anyone was like starting to turn on their lights and go, fight, fight, fight. No. But um, yeah, it was a fun enough experience. I don't think that's the right word, but I guess I'm saying fun because I'm looking back at it in a kind of like joking way. Because when time passes, you can look back at stuff in a more humoristic way. And that's probably not a word, but I'm using it. All right then, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. I know I don't ne necessarily do so many of them in between uh, basically the progress picks, but this was a little event that happened and I thought I'd talk about it and uh, maybe you've had something similar happen to you or you've enjoyed the uh, chat regardless. Maybe you are that guy and you want to continue it. Well, bring it on. Now I'm missing. Okay, take care guys. Have a good one and I will see you later. Bye-bye.